I know it's been a hot minute. Monica Pye is here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I've got some really, really exciting news to share with you today. Drum roll, please. We bought property in Kentucky. We bought a house in a uh, property in Kentucky. A lot of people have been asking me like, why Kentucky? What is up with that? And let me just take you on this journey we had been wanting to buy property every time that we go somewhere the hubs is always like oh i'd like to live here like we went to washington oh and he's looking at like real estate he went to nashville he's looking at real estate and um he actually went to kentucky because my cousin has property over there he built a house he fell in love with it um it's very like rural countryside he started looking at property and before you know it we bought some property with my parents and we're building a house. That's literally how it started. It's been a long process. We started doing this back in 2020, in the middle of COVID, the pandemic. They always say that God works in mysterious ways. I honestly could not think that this property situation has happened in a better time. Like it has helped us not be so concentrated on the whole COVID thing, because I have a very like, anxious personality as does the rest of my family like my parents and stuff so i think it kind of like helps us get our mind off it like yeah we were still worried about covid and everything but you have something else to think about so it's not like constantly just sitting here thinking about covid i absolutely think that everything happens for a reason and things just come at you at the right time when when you least expect it and it barely comes when you actually want it. It's really weird. It's like a second home. My parents, I believe, are going to actually retire there. We bought it between both of us, so we're building it between both of us. It's been a really nice experience. It's been a first time for both of us, like neither of us, even though my dad is in construction, he doesn't do like that side of construction. He does more the surveying part of it. It's been like a really nice change of everything, like building it. We got to build it from the very beginning like it was literally just land you guys will see here it was just land like that's how we bought it like just lots of trees no electricity no water like literally just a piece of land and just watching it like come from the ground up it's been amazing it's been great seeing your your vision come to life it's had its headaches but i don't know call me weird but i enjoy those headaches i think it's like fun to figure out like things that happen i've been like pinteresting getting all my ideas from pinterest this is like my hgtv moment i am totally the cuban joanna Gaines, i guess <laughs> it's just been so nice and getting like a whole bunch of ideas i want to say that our house is like a modern farmhouse house i say is the vibe you know we've had issues with like since we have we're considered farmers exempt um because of the acreage that we have and we're like gonna get an om um, oh that's another thing so we actually hired amish his name is little john and he has been doing the construction of the house which has been so cool to learn about their culture like i am fascinated just the fact that they can't use electricity and it's it's like crazy to me. He is exempt though from doing it while he's working. So he's able to use like some machines with electricity and he is able to have a phone, uh, a cell phone. However, he can only use it for work and he only has like a certain amount of time that he can use it. So it's very difficult to get a hold of him. That's just, that's been quite the challenge. It's not like you can just call like a normal contractor and be like, hey, what's up? Like, you know what's going on like there's certain times he doesn't pick up like it's a process so we've done that and then the plumber was also supposed to be amish but there was like an issue with the guy in the city of kentucky and he just was being an a-hole honestly and didn't want us he wanted us to use like a licensed plumber instead of an amish so i think there was like beef there between them and we had to go with the regular plumber and the electricity it's been we still what day is it june we still have no electricity and this started like in, back in december the guy has been really hard to work with that is our story that is our like we're super excited it's been such a great journey um it's been so much fun like doing this journey with my parents and be able to fly back and forth we've had to go every month or so and so yeah i'm gonna stop talking now and i'm gonna show you guys a little like little clips that i've had of when the whole process and i really hope you enjoy it just watch it enjoy and i hope to have the end result for you guys Bye.
today is April 1st, and this is the progress of the house. Got our windows up in there, and got some other stuff, some windows there, and then we have to just put in all the other windows, like right there, there. So, yeah. That's our builder, little John. Shadiest. We just got here. They put the metal shading, sighting, sorry, um, and all the windows are up. They put the concrete down here in the porch. Still gotta fix a couple things. Um, we have the wood door that we painted. Oh. And then here's the inside. This is all time and groove. This is going to be the guest room. This is the mud. I'm sorry, the guest bathroom. This is the mud room. Kitchen is over there. I'm still not happy. This is the part that I'm not happy. I wanted more like window action. They said that you can't put a window here or glass, but. I'm still gonna try. And then this is a master bedroom. And then that's the mama. This is the master bath. And then this is another master bedroom. They connect. So this is where we're at. Still somewhat to go. Here would be the sofa and the dining table for there. This is my favorite part. The fireplace. Love this. So the hubs. He attempted to paint. This was white. These French doors were white and we painted them. You can't really see it. But it's like <laughs> horrible. Look at like this white part coming out. It's so bad. So we're gonna need someone to paint. Hello, it is June 21st, Monday, and we are here working on the house. The cabinets just arrived. Um, and then we're just lowering everything from the cart now. We have like we drove up on Friday morning. We stopped at Fort Walton Beach. It was like, we had no idea. We've been tracking the weather all week and it was fine. Then all of a sudden we, Fort Walton Beach, right where we stopped was under a tropical storm warning. So we had to leave um, our Airbnb and just go off and then we stayed. We drove all the way to Alabama. We stayed at like some really shitty hotel that we feared for our lives. <laughs> we feared for our lives just because like I'm pretty sure like someone died in the, <laughs> the bed. So then we finished, we got here Saturday. Yesterday was Father's Day so we didn't do anything and then now we're here. Um, we actually, I just went this morning to get some blood work done because I needed to like check my hormones and stuff. And when we got here the plumber was here because a pipe had burst and they had said that like they were probably going to have to break concrete, break a wall, break all this stuff. Thankfully, it was nothing that huge. I think they just had to take off like a couple of panels and um, all is well. We have water, the pipe is fine now, they fixed it. And now let me show you what we're working with. So this is what it looks like right now. Here's the sofa. They brought in the cabinets the craziness. It's just crazy everywhere. We got a generator. We still don't have lights or any electricity. It's really, really hot. So yeah, we gotta 
we got a whole bunch of, I don't even know what's going on in the rooms. Oh, those are the beds. Um, see, no electricity still. We still have to put up the bathrooms. Um, that actually goes in the best bedroom. I don't know why they brought it in here. Um, these are the lamps for the master. And yeah. I really hope you guys can hear me because the generator is so loud. And then there was also an issue with this. Um, we wanted it to be like an accent wall. Stand back a little bit. We wanted it to be an accent wall. Color, that was the color of the stain, which is identical to the actual white that we painted to the walls. So I just kind of had to go to a whole bunch of different places to kind of fix it. I wanted to share in Williams. And there was this one color that we liked, but it was too white. So she kind of made it customized for us, but I still wasn't hundred percent with it. So I had originally wanted pickled dough and it was a little too yellow for my liking. So what I ended up doing when I got back to my cousin's house, I ended up mixing the one that she had customized for us, mixing it with the pickled oak. And that was like the perfect color. So that's kind of what we're gonna, we're gonna do. We have to like mix those two. So I went back to Sharon Williams. They didn't have pickled oak, so I had to go like a whole bunch of different lumber stores. And finally, finally, I found them. <sighs> I had them, so I got it. And yeah, so now we're just gonna start working. So it's about two thirty. Uh, we took a little lunch break. Well, I'm sorry, I took a lunch break. These lazy asses are still over there. Oh, wait, they left. Never mind. Oh, wait, there they are. If you can see, there's barely any light and we don't have electricity yet. It's raining outside, so there's no light. See, I told you they were lazy. Still hanging out. So we kind of just organized everything. I got all the boxes. And um, I'm screaming because there's a generator so we can get some light. We had to use some of this construction light over here. It's so hot. The construction light just to give us some light. We're building our bed. And yeah, I already organized everything into rooms. Um, I got everything out from the barn and just kind of placed it. And now we're just building. Today is August 7th and the house is about 75% completed. So I wanted to show you guys um, kind of not the end result. We're still missing a couple things, but it's pretty done. So come on in. All right, well, here is a porch swing. I still need like some more pillows and some other stuff here, but you got the gist. And this is the front door. Welcome to our humble abode. I don't even know if that's right. So here you go. This, I've already, it's August and I've already decorated for fall, but who cares, right? I can't wait to put a Christmas tree. Anyways, here is my bedroom. Um, it's a little messy right now, but so you kind of see it. All right, now this is the guest bedroom. Still so much stuff like that we have to do. But you get the idea. I have my diffuser going. The thing that we weren't sure about was the colors of the door. We had originally thought to leave it light, but I am so glad we didn't. It matches perfectly with the roof and then kind of like the mantle as well. And then this is custom made. We bought the actual wood slab. Love it. And then this we got from Home Goods, and it says 
Kentucky bourbon, so I was like, why not? These are little coasters. And then this was also custom made, which I am obsessed with. It's like the live edge table. And then the bench as well. So all these three things came from the same exact wood. And then here is the kitchen. I don't know if you remember of the before, how it had like marble and this was more of a gray. Um, so we had them redo it and now with the butcher top and just that white um, and I think it looks so much better. It's perfect. I'm missing another um, basket over there and then we're missing the shelves over here, the open shelving. I'm still trying to figure out, we're talking to the guy of the wood um, to help us figure out like what kind of wood and stuff. So all these things here this is like the coffee area. All this will go up there in the, in the shelves. This is our little, our little Kentucky house. And then here is the mudroom. Okay, this is pretty messy. But I just wanted to show you guys this area. Love that, right? We're gonna put some more shelves in here and stuff. Over here is the guest bathroom. I love that. Take this off. Still missing a couple things. 